Hey, my name is Genta Nakano, and I belong to a Disaster Prevention Research Institute at Kyoto University. So today's my presentation、uh, topic is multi-voiced and multi-angle reality of disaster risk reduction action research, the perspective of chained visual ethnography. So there, I think、uh, there are a lot of unfamiliar terminologies、uh, in these、uh, titles. So that、uh, uh, while I'm making a presentation,、uh, I would like to make it clear、uh, the definition of each terminology. So first of all,、uh, let me、uh, make it clear、uh, what is、um, action research. And this is、um, a research attitude, and this is my、uh, research attitude as、uh, action research. On the left hand side,、uh, there is a、um, uh, figure of the、uh, basic uh, usual uh, research frameworks. So a、uh, researcher as a subject and researcher a、uh, research target as an object are basically segregated each other.、Um, yeah, so that,、uh, uh, for example, doctors、uh, observe, analyze the symptoms of the research target, which is the patient. And identify what is the cause of the disease, for example. So, in, in this case,、um, researchers as a doctors and the research target as a patient are clearly segregated each other. And、uh, the subject、um, as a researcher should observe、uh, in a very objective way、uh, to the、uh, research target, the patient. So,、uh, in this case, the researchers and the research targets are. Clearly segregated, and、uh, what's the most important thing is that the、uh, research methodologies or、uh, approaches should be objective, and the、uh, uh, result of research should be replicable, and research outcomes should be generalized. So,、uh, this is a basically、um, very general、uh, basic research attitude. Uh, yeah. But on the other hand,、uh, the action research is its framework is totally different. The first of all, researchers and the research targets are not segregated each other because the researcher is a part of the communities. So in the action research, the、uh, researchers go to the、uh, field and identify what is the local issues together with the local people. And work together with the local people in order to bring the betterment to the local communities. So, in this case, the researcher becomes a part of the community. And、uh, basically, the research target、uh, becomes a collaborator of this action research. Yeah, so that uh, uh, unlike the basic research, action research, there are no segregations between the researchers and、uh, Um, research target. So, the keyword in action research is interventions because research goes, the, goes to the field and intervene、uh, to the local issues directly. So, the intervention and the changes, the、uh, objective of action research is to bring the change and betterment. So, the、uh, betterment is made through the change. So, Uh, these three are the, basically the、uh, keywords、uh, for the action research. So, this is how uh, different uh, between、uh, research in general and action research. So,、um, so far,、uh, I have been conducting action research in、uh, three different fields. So, left hand side,、uh, there's one of the,、uh, my main、uh, study fields nowadays, the Shiwatanejo municipality in Mexico. So, I started to be involved in、uh, one project、uh, since 2016. So, I frequently visited、uh, Shibatane h o municipality. And here,、uh, there is an、um, earthquake and tsunami risk. So, that uh, uh, I am working、uh, very collaboratively, closely、uh, together with the、uh, local civil protection,、uh, which is a part of the local government, and together with the local、uh, students, local teachers. And carrying out、uh, earthquake and tsunami related education. Or we have been working on establishing the community based disaster risk reduction groups and also establishing the tsunami evacuation strategies. So 
uh, now you can see that uh, uh, the objective of this uh, research in Mexico is to bring some changes in the communities throughout the intervention of the education or establishment of the disaster risk reduction groups. But in uh, my another research field, um, Nepal, I have a slightly different um, a viewpoint or a viewpoint of the issues. So I'm basically um, organizing uh, the teacher's training, but the objective of this teacher's training is to make sure the sustainability of the implementation of disaster risk reduction education. Because uh, I have been uh, interviewing and working with the local NGOs or international organizations in Nepal, and they also have been providing uh, different types of uh, disaster risk reduction education trainings for local teachers. But uh, one of the biggest issues is that uh, basically local teachers, even though they receive the teacher's training, uh, they don't continue uh, to carry out a disaster risk reduction education at their own schools. So sustainability or continuity is the big issue here. So that uh, uh, I am thinking how we can make sure the continuity and sustainability of the implementation of disaster risk reduction education by the initiatives of the local teachers throughout uh, teachers' training. So this is my main focus. And of course, there was um, a huge earthquake in 2015 in Nepal so that uh, uh, there was a stage of the emergency response and reconstructions. So these are also uh, my research target in Nepal. And in Kochi Prefecture, Japan, uh, as you may know, uh, there is a um, uh, non-kai traff uh, megastrust earthquake and tsunamis. Yeah, so that uh, um, here in Kochi Prefecture, I basically work with the um, a local uh, government and the local a kind of NPOs in order to promote the evacuations uh, of the uh, elderly people. Yeah, because elderly people are basically, how can I say, less motivated uh, to evacuate in case of earthquake and tsunamis because they think that uh, they cannot walk or they cannot run uh, for evacuations. So they are quite less motivated. So that uh, the uh, important issue is to how to promote their motivation uh, of evacuation in case of real earthquake and tsunamis. So this is my research target of the action research here uh, in three uh, localities. So, but uh, implementing the action research in these three different uh, locations, the uh, analyzing, I am analyzing how people's action changes. For example, the uh, uh, changes of the attitude of teachers or attitude of uh, elderly people applying the theory of education or psychology, sociology, and anthropology. So this is how I uh, take a look at the action researches uh, in the field. So now let me uh, go in into the e topic or themes of today's my presentations. So again, my presentation title is Multi-Voiced and Multi-Angle Reality of Disaster Risk Reduction Action Research, the Perspective of Chained Visual Ethnography. So I already uh, clarified what is exactly the action research. And now let me make it clear what is visual ethnography. So yeah, of course, the, it says ethnography. Uh, it comes from the anthropological field. So in the uh, uh, anthropology, uh, usually anthropologists going to the uh, research field and they observe what local people do or what local people act. So it can be a cultural uh, festivals or it, is, uh, it can be a daily lives. So anthropologists go to the field and observe. But here, uh, in this relationship between the anthropologists and local people, uh, it is quite asymmetric. So asymmetric means that the uh, anthropologist is observing, and local people are basically being observed. So this is asymmetric. Or sometimes, of course, it is depending on the communities, but the anthropologist basically comes from the 
、えー、advanced countries with the high knowledge, for example, PhD holders, but the local people、uh, is basically can be、um, uh, developing countries. So that、uh, uh, here, again, the、uh, asymmetric relation of, for example, evaluating or being evaluated can happen. So,、uh, throughout the action of observations,、uh, this asymmetric relationship b e c o m i n g always a problem s in order to observe in an、uh, uh, objective way. So, this is one of the、uh, issues in、uh, uh, ethnography. So, another issue is that uh, uh, the conscious and unconscious selection of culture in the ethnographic description or ethnographic writing process happens. Yeah, so、um, depending on the interest of the anthropologist, anthropologist、uh, wrote down or described the specific、uh, cultural act, but maybe they、uh, or anthropologists get rid of writing other part, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously. Yeah, so that,、uh, this is also another、uh, difficulty in writing the cultures. And the、uh, cultural description cannot be、um, objective in this sense as well. And of course, there is a、um, constraint of the researcher's rhetoric. Yeah, so actually,、um, this is a criticism s criticisms by the Clifford and the Marcus that the cultural description cannot be objective. So,、uh, because of this type of criticisms and how to,、uh, so that the anthropologists thought how to make sure. The、uh, objectivity of the cultural description. That's why the photographs or video recordings or paintings are utilized as a method of ethnography in order to characterize the reality in a sub,、uh, objective manner. So, this is why、uh, visual ethnography, not a writing ethnography,、uh, came to, came to、uh, got attention. But, of course, In the method of visual ethnography, there is、um, another new limitation. s So, there are many visual ethnography studies、uh, in the field of anthropology or sociology, psychology, etc., etc. But the limitation of、um, visual ethnography, the VE,、uh, represents the only single voice reality,、uh, which is the researcher's perspectives. So, what exactly means this single voice reality and the multi voice reality、uh, that I、uh, used、uh, in, in my presentation title? So,、uh, this is an example of visual ethnography of Hiroshima Peace Memorial Ceremony.、Um, yeah, so the、uh, researchers made、uh, eth ethnographic films, the movies of Hiroshima Peace Memorial Ceremony. On、uh, August 8th,、uh, sorry, August 6th. So、uh, there's a、um, uh, peace memorial ceremony on August 6th in Hiroshima. So that the ethnographers, researchers、uh, went to the ceremony and installed、uh, several cameras、uh, in a different、uh, location of the venue and filmed or recorded how people played、uh, in the、uh, ceremonies. And of course, there's a diverse reality of play or a diverse way of play depending on the people. So some play s very silently, or some sometimes play s、uh, while insisting the abolition of the nuclear, for example, or some other people play s in a different way. s So depending on the、uh, people、uh, coming to this ceremony, there's a diverse reality of the play. So, this is quite important. However, ethnographers、uh, filmed the、uh, plays of each people and developed the ethnographic films of how players played、uh, in the ceremony. But when this diverse reality of plays inter is interpreted by the ethnographers, It is becoming an ethnographer's reality only. Yeah, because even though there is a diverse reality of the play in the ceremony, but、uh, this reality of the play is 
interpreted by the researchers. So it means that uh, uh, the ethnographic films only reflect the ethnographer's reality. So it's becoming a single voice reality only. So the lim what is the limitation here is that uh, evaluation and expression of the field of practice is occupied by the perspective of researchers and the voices of the people involved. For example, here, players are neglected. So how we can uh, make sure to express the multi-voice reality here in the field of practice? This is a very big question in the uh, field of the visual ethnography. So now let me clearly explain what exactly the multi-voice reality. There's a showcase, uh, which is known as the Rashomon effect. So Rashomon, as you may know, uh, it's a film, the movie, uh, in 1950s films, uh, directed by Akira Kurosawa. And so I don't have a time to show uh, all the stories of this uh, Akira Kurosawa's movie, so let me quite briefly explains the uh, stories. So a samurai in this movie is murdered and his wife is harassed, but she is able to escape the scene of the crime. So she survives. So the involved people report what they witnessed and experienced to an interrogator. So these are the comments made by the inter uh, in front of the inter interrogator. So the suspect, actually suspect is arrested. And the uh, suspect, his name is uh, Tajo Maru, admits to the crime and says that he won the match against the samurai to have the samurai's wife. So this is uh, his comment. But the samurai's wife says that the samurai was killed while she was unconscious after being attacked by the suspect. And there is another person who was the witness of this uh, uh, case, says that the wife of the samurai lured the samurai into a match against suspect. So it looks like these three comments uh, uh, contradict each other. But what uh, this Rashomon really tells, Rashomon's movie really tells, is that uh, importantly, this all comments tell that people can have a different perspectives of a single event. So actually these three uh, comments uh, looks like uh, uh, contradicting each other, but uh, uh, this is the just a different perspectives of a single event. So, and such an um, objective truth cannot exist. So uh, this is the multi-voice reality. So now um, let me raise another uh, important uh, issues uh, related with the lack of multi-voice reality in the evaluation of action research. So as I already mentioned, action research is a collaborative practice between the researcher and the people involved. So however, evaluation of the betterment is held through a paper, for example, uh, research papers or maybe writing a book uh, in a text, format text, or qualitative evidence or quantitative evidence. So the evaluation is occupied by the perspective of researchers and the voice of the people involved uh, are basically neglected in this process. So let me raise uh, my own case. Actually, I wrote a paper uh, in 2018 uh, which tells about the, the how betterment took place in uh, Shiwataneho, Mexico. So the uh, story of my paper was as follows. So before my intervention, before the uh, in, uh, intervention of the action research, there was an over-dependency to the expert in the process of implementing a tsunami evacuation drills. So basically, the uh, uh, experts go to the visit, uh, go, sorry, go to the schools, and experts organize all the important things or how to evacuate or where the evacuation route and uh, which place to be uh, safe, etc., etc. And experts basically took an initiative 
of carrying out all the Sami evacuation drills. So here, the local, te uh, local teachers, school teachers, and the local students uh, could not have any opportunities uh, to actively join the evacuation drills, just following the instructions of the experts. So this was a problematic. So uh, intervention was made through the action research. So myself and the uh, uh, local civil protection staff, of course, together with the local uh, teachers, uh, we uh, carried out different types of workshop or classes. And as a result, in 2016, teachers took the initiative of carrying out a disaster risk reduction education and uh, tsunami evacuation drills. So there's a big changes uh, from 2012 to 2016. And that's why I wrote a paper. But uh, this evaluation or this way of looking is basically occupied by myself. And I could not include uh, the perspectives of the, uh, for example, uh, local civil protection staff or uh, local teachers' perspectives. So here again, uh, the evaluation is basically occupied by the perspective of researchers and the voices of the people involved are neglected. So my question is, by using visual ethnography, the multi-voice reality of the people involved can be added uh, to the evaluation made by the researchers. So uh, this can be a new evidence of action research. So how multi-voice reality of action research is visualized and expressed using visual ethnography methodologies? So this is the um, main theme of my today's presentations. So study field is, as I mentioned, Shibataneho municipality in Guerrero State in Mexico. So uh, this is a map of Mexico, and Guerrero State is located here. So Mexico City, the capital is around here. So it's a little bit south, uh, south of the Mexico City. And uh, Shibataneho is located here, which is faced to the uh, Pacific Ocean, so that uh, there is a um, risk of earthquake and tsunamis. And the Shiwataneho municipality is um, kind of medium-sized cities in, in Mexico and uh, tourist areas. So that uh, in 1960s, 70s, the tourist uh, tourism investment has been uh, made so that uh, new hotels and new restaurants have been constructed and uh, population growth took place because many people uh, seek the uh, job opportunities in the tourism sectors. So that uh, uh, population uh, rapidly increased after 1960s and 1970s uh, uh, in Shibatanejos. And the average age uh, of this municipality is 26 years old, so quite young. So I rarely see the people, uh, elderly people in this uh, municipality. So it's a quite small number of people uh, with the, uh, over the 65 years old. So this is my um, design of the study. So uh, this is a kind of, um, how can I say, a very uh, congested uh, figure. So that uh, first of all, uh, let me briefly explain uh, the first two stages of my studies, which is the uh, first stage is the action research stage of disaster risk reduction or disaster risk management in Shiwataneho, Mexico from 2016 to 2019. And in this stage, in order to make a visual ethnography, I video recorded uh, all, almost all the practices held during these three years. And after that, based on the uh, video recorded, recorded the videos, I developed a visual ethnography. So I'll explain up to uh, this stage from now on. So uh, this is the uh, stage of action research um, of disaster risk reduction from 2016 to 2019. So I stayed in Shiwataneho, Guerrero for more than 300 days uh, between 2016 and 19. 
and conducted uh, different types of educational activities for more than 10,000 people in Shibataneho. Of course, uh, together with local civil protection, the local government, and uh, with local schools. So, of course, we have uh, done different types of um, activities, but uh, uh, today's my focus is the establishment uh, of community emergency response teams, the third. So, uh, civil protection staff and myself uh, worked on the establishment of this volunteer group of the local communities in order to uh, tackle with the uh, emergency situations in case of natural disasters. So all the activities and interviews of the participants were filmed uh, for, uh, and the uh, uh, recorded uh, videos uh, become 140 hours of recording. So like this, I, as I was following the evacuation drills and I was always filming the uh, evacuation drills or uh, sometimes I was interviewing uh, participants of this action research, for example, the students, for example, the teachers, for example, the civil protection staffs. So this uh, recorded films, uh, recorded videos uh, became uh, 140 years, uh, 40 hours uh, within these three years. So there's an important uh, suggestion in the process of filming the action research, I think. As I mentioned in the previous slides, um, yeah, there's a asymmetric relationship between the researchers, the anthropologists, and the people involved uh, when uh, observing or when filming uh, the uh, local uh, cultural act, for example. Asymmetric relations such as the evaluation, evaluating, researchers evaluating, and local people being evaluated, for example, or uh, researchers observing, or uh, local people being observed. So this type of asymmetric relationships uh, always happens and always becoming a problem uh, in uh, anthropological studies. But uh, I think uh, in the process of filming the action research, it can loosen this type of asymmetric relationship uh, because filming by a researcher who has spent uh, hundreds of days with the people involved. Yeah, because for example, my, in my case, I. Uh, stayed 300 days in the local communities and always working together with the local uh, civil protection or local teachers so that uh, we know um, very, very quite each other. So uh, in, in this relationship, I could uh, film the action research. So it minimizes the relationship between evaluating or being evaluated and observing or being observed. So it allows to film the practices as it really is. So compared with the filming for visual ethnography, the filming for action research is relatively uh, becoming, um, how do you say, uh, that the practices are becoming or filmed as it really is. So this is a big difference uh, between the filming for visual ethnography and filming for action research. So as I mentioned, there was a 140 hours of video recording. So I checked, uh, of course, all the video recording uh, in nine, uh, 2019, 2020, and I decided to uh, develop four, uh, sorry, um, seven visual ethnography movies. But uh, because of the time constraints, let me show you one of them. And the following, uh, this slide shows the basic stories of one of the visual ethnography films that I developed. So uh, later I will show you the complete uh, visual ethnography films. But uh, first of all, let me briefly explain the uh, stories. So uh, these films uh, start with my own interviews. I'm just saying that in 2016, uh, it means that uh, before my interventions, there was no community-based based group of, for example, SART, Community Emergency Response Team. But after that, uh, uh, person A, uh, Rafael, Sam, Mr. Rafael, 
uh, started to establish the search. And Mr. A, the Rafael son, interview, uh, there's the interview telling the current progress of search. Current means in 2017 and 2018. And after establishing some community emergency response teams in the communities, the big house fire occurred. But the uh, community emergency response team responded pro uh, properly so that uh, Mr. Rafael A was quite satisfied with it. And after that, there is an insert of the uh, interviews of the uh, leader of SART who attended the fire. And SART is widely acknowledged in the municipality and institutionalized into the DLM plan. So this is the basic story uh, of this visualized sonography films. Uh, from two, uh, it, and it represents the uh, changes uh, from 2016 to 2019 in Shibata So now uh, let me show you uh, the, uh, this movie. So it has around uh, 10 minutes. Zihuataneho City is a resort located on the Pacific Ocean coast, which is located about 480 kilometers southwest of Mexico City. Zihuataneho is the place where experts have pointed out the possibility of damage caused by earthquakes and tsunamis. How does a tsunami occur? When the earthquake occurs under the seabed, the seabed will be raised by the plate motion. Sea levels also shifts along with this and it propagates a big wave as a tsunami. This is a simulation that estimates tsunami damage. There is not much immediate damage after the earthquake. However, when the tsunami arrived about 12 minutes after the earthquake, it was found that the damage spread to the city at once in the next five minutes. Disaster prevention education started by SAT reps in Zihuatanejo in September 2016. What was the situation of regional disaster prevention by the local community at the beginning of 2016? Assistant Professor Nakano of Kyoto University looks back on the situation at that time. あの、ま、2016年当初ですね、ま、私が で、これは別に仕事の方が特別こう、なんてでしょう、遅れてるとかそういうわけではなくて、ま、おそらくメキシコ一般的にあまりこう地域の中で地域の方々がま、ボランティアとして、え、防災活動を組織して進めていくような
Here's a video of training at that time. It is training for people living in the area to act independently, assume various disaster situations, and protect the area by themselves. In interviews in 2017, Rafael talked about the importance of risk reduction from regional disasters. Tenemos ahorita dos colonias de un aproximado de 500 personas eh, que ya se han capacitado. Tenemos alrededor de 45 brigadistas en esas dos colonias y creo que esto también nos da fortaleza y nos da también el, 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 el estar más tranquilo en que si algo llegue a ocurrir Tenemos gente que nos va a apoyar, personas voluntarias, personas brigadistas, que lo han hecho muy a conciencia y creo que han estado eh, muy eh, ordenados en la situación de la prevención. Y esto nos da, vuelvo a repetir, la tranquilidad de saber que si algo llega a ocurrir, ellos pueden reaccionar en su colonia principalmente. Porque creemos que ante una eventualidad, la autoridad municipal va a atender aquellos asuntos que sean colaterales o que sean un efecto dominó o donde creamos nosotros que la situación se puede sobresalir o puede rebasar una, 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 una contingencia y ellos están para reaccionar en sus colonias principalmente. About a year and a half ago after forming the CERT, a big fire broke out in Zihuatanejo. It was a big fire that burnt down 100 houses in the mountains at Christmas time. Rafael and his colleagues rushed to the scene. When they got there, residents were practicing the drill that they learned from their local disaster prevention activities. The CERT rushed there early and provided evacuation guidance and initial fire extinguishing. Therefore, it did not cause any deaths. How did Rafael feel about the action of the CERT? Día del siniestro, el día 23 de diciembre, con toda orgullo, te digo, yenta que participaron en el incendio, fueron los primeros en llegar, fueron los primeros en atacar con cubetas con agua, con tierra, con lo que tenían a la mano, con picos, con palas. Eso me da a mí mucha satisfacción. Un trabajo que creímos que no íbamos a poder controlar. Se controló aproximadamente en tres horas un incendio que era Eh, voraz, era, era descomunal. Eh, el equipo de respuesta de emergencias comunitarias, el equipo CERT, desde que inició, desde la 1.45, estuvo presente con sus equipos, estuvo apoyando a, a, a los equipos de bomberos, estuvo apoyando a Protección Civil y en conjunto, en humanidad, en, 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 en coadyuvancia, con, con todos los demás sectores públicos y privados, se logró atacar el incendio a las 5 de la tarde. Afortunadamente no hubo pérdidas humanas, el equipo CERD estuvo ahí, eh, estuvo ayudándonos a sacar tanques de gas, estuvo ayudando también a desalojar la, 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 la colonia y después de las 5 de la tarde todavía participaron ellos en los refugios temporales, estuvieron apoyando eh, o apoyándonos, mejor dicho, casi 15 días en los refugios temporales, donde bueno, se les dio eh, la tarea de apoyarnos con la limpieza, con darles de comer, en fin, con muchas actividades que ellos podían hacer. Creo yo que, que es buena la respuesta, es muy bueno el, 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 el prepararnos, es bueno trabajar con estos equipos de emergencia, porque ya lo vimos, Yenta, ya tenemos claramente eh, 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 la, la certeza de que sin estos equipos de respuesta, sin estos equipos eh, de voluntarios, no haríamos básicamente nada. Es, es excelente que estén trabajando a la par con, con el municipio. She is one of the CERT members who responded to the fire. Y este, cuando llegamos allá al incendio, pues lo primero que veíamos gente muy desesperada. Tratamos de ayudar eh, porque había pipas particulares que estaban donando agua. Y empezamos a hacer lo que muchas veces en nuestra colonia hacemos. Nosotros cuando trabajamos hacemos cadenitas. Entonces, uno de mi colonia eh, se le ocurrió decirle a la gente que hiciéramos una cadena para poder llegar hasta el último. Entonces, como había mucha gente que nada más estaba viendo, eso funcionó mucho. ¿sí? Empezaron a pasarse las cubetas unos con otros y gritaban, eh, allá va la cubeta de regreso y aquí va la cubeta para allá con agua. 
y fue de la manera en que llegamos hasta la parte de arriba para poder sofocar el, la lumbre. Later, this triggered an event in which the results of the CERT led by Rafael were recognized. CERT was listed on the official disaster prevention plan for Zihuatanejo City. After that, there was a clear difference in CERT's cognition and behavior, and it has grown to be able to hold comprehensive disaster prevention drills with the Fire Department, Disaster Prevention Bureau, and the Red Cross Society. ラファエルさんの、ま、ver a las personas cómo cambia su, su manera de vida. Me, me encanta ver que podemos eh, aportar algo, aunque sea muy poco, y ver la sonrisa de las, de las personas cuando, cuando ellos eh, se sienten que pueden lograr algo. Rafael's disaster prevention activities will continue for the lives and smiles of the people in Zihuatanejo. So uh, this is the uh, yeah visual ethnography, which represents the changes from 2016 to 2019 in Shibata But the uh, most important things is that this represents uh, this are just my single voice reality. Yeah, because um, even though I put uh, different interviews into this visual ethnography movies, but I, I, how I put or how I edit. Uh, basically represents my viewpoint. So this is my uh, stories of uh, my, my stories from 2016, uh, 2019. And uh, uh, in the process of editing, or uh, in, in the process of organizing this visual ethnography movies, I did not include the perspective of, for example, Rafael Sam, or for example, the member of uh, community emergency response teams. So, uh, Again, uh, let me emphasize that uh, this is my uh, reality only. So uh, let me explain the uh, next phase of uh, my studies, uh, which is to make this visual ethnography movies uh, more uh, multi-voiced reality, which is this stage. So the uh, next step is viewing visual ethnography films uh, with participants. Uh, it means that, uh, uh, as I show you, I made uh, this visual ethnography films so that uh, uh, these uh, films are viewed by the participants or people involved, for example, uh, Rafael Sanz. So uh, as I mentioned, I made a, a visual ethnography which represents the researcher's reality, my reality. So in order to make this visual ethnography movies, uh, as multi boys, uh, so um, I made the comment videos, uh, which reflects the uh, comment of the uh, local uh, civil protection staff who is a participant of this uh, visual ethnography, for example. So um, I set up the. Uh, I, I very unfortunately, uh, we I could not uh, travel to Mexico in order to make this comment video, so that. Uh, uh, I organized a um, uh, session of viewing uh, visual ethnography with the participants through the Zoom. So uh, today, let me introduce uh, three uh, comment videos. The first one is um, comment videos, uh, which is commented by um, Rafael Sam, uh, who is the main actor or main character of the visual ethnography, so that uh, I show my visual ethnography, my perspectives to him, and he commented uh, to his, his perspectives on this uh, visual ethnographies. The second one, uh, second comment video uh, is made by, uh, the comment made by a consultant uh, who has been uh, involved in this 
uh, activities of establishment of the SART uh, from 2017. And she lives in uh, Mexico City. She does not live in uh, Siwataneho, but uh, she had a lot of, a lot of uh, experiences of working in uh, uh, community emergency response teams in another municipalities in Mexico. So that uh, he was invited, uh, she was invited as a consultant uh, to uh, promote these third activities in Shibataneho from 2017. And the third one uh, is a comment made by uh, Mr. Thomas. And she, uh, she is um, part of a National Disaster Prevention Center of the Mexico federal government. And he was also uh, uh, supporting uh, this third activity in Shibataneho from the federal government point of view. So that uh, I also showed these visual sonographies uh, to him and he commented uh, on these uh, videos. So now uh, let me show you one of the, or maybe, yeah, because of time being, uh, let me show you one of the videos, one of the comments made by, for example, uh, Rafael san So let me, uh, show you the uh, videos. Yes, so there is a comment here, but... So I was interviewed uh, through the Zoom. So after I showed uh, my uh, visual ethnography films, he commented uh, on my visual ethnographies. Es bastante yenta. Inclusive, si tú te das cuenta en los medios de comunicación y bomberos, ya es protección civil y bomberos. O sea, ya no es una oficina solamente que, cum que cumplía porque tenía que estar ahí porque y lo decidía, porque era una obligación tener una oficina de prevención de riesgos en la ciudad. No, ya no, ya protección civil y bomberos desde dos días. es una dirección respetable una dirección que a nivel municipal es muy conocida y te lo voy a decir así amigo Yenta no me gusta nada pero yo de verdad estoy muy agradecido con, con ustedes con la Universidad de Kioto con el profesor Yamori contigo Yenta con el, con el profesor eh, muy agradecido porque si tú te das cuenta amigo somos un municipio modelo para el Estado, para empezar. Es decir, el Estado es un municipio que está al 100% trabajando con la prevención de riesgos. Ya no es simplemente que está y uh, simplemente ahí, ¿no? Ahorita ya cumplimos con un modelo de trabajo. Ya tenemos, por ejemplo, tenemos que hacer programas especiales sobre huracanes, Y se, y se entregan mediante un modelo que ustedes ya nos enseñaron. Se entregan también programas eh, especiales por sismos y tsunamis. Bajo un modelo se enseñaron. Lógicamente, yo entiendo que nuestras normas nos dicen cómo hacer un programa especial, pero cuando no estás tan empapado de la información, te es muy, muy difícil poder entenderlo o poder plasmar toda esa información cuando ya tú lo tienes en práctica porque ya 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 alguien te está dando ir pues es mucho más fácil hacerlo y es mucho más integral y más compactado todo entonces viéndolo de un punto de vista yenta tenemos ya una cómo se dice eh, tenemos un, un ya un modelo Eh, eh, que, que nos define y, y el Estado pues lógicamente pues ya nos está viendo y no se diga no se diga de la Federación digo eh, si hablamos del Senapred si Guatanejo también está dentro de las de las de los municipios que el Senapred considera también como un municipio modelo y aparte... so this is his comment uh, after viewing uh, the visual ethnography uh, made by my own perspectives. Uh, 
So、uh, let me、uh, later briefly explain、uh, what、uh, exactly meant、uh, his comment. But、uh, before、uh, going back to my presentation slides,、uh, let me show you another video s、uh, of the interviews,、uh, which is a comment video, s which is made by uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas,、uh, who、uh, is a member of the National Disaster Prevention Center in the long context of Mexico history. Oh, okay, well,、uh, this is the first time I.、Uh, Although I have、uh, almost 30 years working、uh, in these issues in Sena Pred in different areas, this is the first time I know that in、uh, a continuous work with the specific objectives and well done、uh, in the same community or same locality, then for us it's a very good reference. And this could be a model to repeat in other similar localities of Mexico.、Uh, it could be very difficult in some places, but we can adapt the methodology. And、uh, it will be very difficult in the near future、uh, to, make, to, to get the same results for parents. Is it for establishing the community based volunteer group in s i a t a n e h o or in, in Mexico? Yes, it's, it's、uh, suitable.、Ah, But、okay. uh, we need、uh, leadership.、Hmm. Probably to look for who will be the leader of that effort is a big issue. If、I、we、see. have a clear leadership, probably this. this、uh, This work、uh, goes well. If not, we can disperse efforts.、Mm. And、uh, you know. So, this is also、uh, his comment after viewing、uh, the visual ethnography、uh, made by my、uh, perspectives. So, now uh, let me、uh, go i n g back to the、uh, presentation slides and let me、uh, tell you what exactly meant those. A、comment、uh, made by、um, p a r t i c i p a n t of the action research. Okay, yeah, I hope you can see uh, this uh, presentation slide again. So,、um, actually, these comments、uh, made by uh, three uh, action research participants represent multi voice realities. So,、uh, first of all,、uh, let me tell you in an organized way、uh, that,、uh, first of all,、um, The visual ethnography film is made、uh, based on my、uh, perspectives, my realities. So, in my visual ethnography films, the time frame was 2016 to 2019, and the special frame is third activity only in Shibataneho. And in my、uh, ethnographic movies, I focus only on the personal relationship of Mr. Rafael and third leaders. And I、uh, organized these、uh, films、uh, as the、uh, third response during the fire accelerated the horizontal development of third activities. So, I, I,、uh, as a part of、uh, action research, I thought that uh, um, this fire、uh, accident and the third response for this fire actually was a very, very important. Uh, to accelerate the horizontal development of SART activities in Shibatane Home Municipality. So, this is,、uh, that's why I made that kind of stories、uh, in the visual ethnography movies. But that was my、uh, perspective only. So, after viewing uh, this uh, visual ethnography movies, the Rafael san commented、uh, from the different, totally different from uh, different time, uh, frames.、Uh, because She, he has been working in the civil protections, the part of the government,、uh, even before 2015、uh, to 2021. And as you maybe noticed, he emphasized that、uh, now SART activities and the civil protections of the、uh, Shibataneho is acknowledged by the、uh, state level or acknowledged by the federal government. So 
actually that was a uh, important motivation, um, important factor for him、uh, to promote other SATA activities. So actually that was his reality. And、uh, if、uh, he m a k e his own ethnographic films, maybe he would emphasize this aspect of the acknowledgement by the federal government. So this is his reality. So, actually, the、uh, motivations I thought and the motivations he had was different, but both of them actually represent the reality of this action research. On the other hand,、uh, there's a C's reality, which is uh, uh, Thomas Sands'、uh, federal government staff. s But he emphasized that the、uh, leadership of Rafael s a n was most important for s a r t activity development in Shibataneho. And he was saying that、uh, it is difficult to Uh, develop horizontally to the another, munis-、uh, another municipalities、uh, this methodology of the third because it is very rare to find、uh, people with high leadership in the civil protection in the municipal levels. So、uh, that is his way of looking at this action, action research、uh, based on his time frame of 30 years of career s or、uh, current community based DRL in Mexico. So, actually, it is the same、uh, action research, the same event、uh, from 2016 to 2019. How they、uh, understand this action, action research is quite different. So, it means that uh, uh, this action research、uh, throughout the development of the、uh, visual ethnography films. And making these comment videos, it is now representing the、uh, multi voice reality. Of this action research. So,、um, visualizing multi voice reality is also the important thing. s So, that、uh, now I am developing the action visual ethnography、uh, website. So,、um, uh, in the main part,、uh, there is a、um, research as a reality, the visual ethnography that I showed、uh, today. But、uh, at the same time, there s a comment videos listed. So that uh, uh, we can find out the different、uh, w a y of looking at this uh, uh, action research, the multi、uh, research as realities. So, after developing this、uh, action visual ethnography website,、um, I really hope that、uh, this website f u n c t i o n to support. The further development of action research through the creation of new visual ethnographies and comment videos, like a chained visual ethnography. So, today, what I showed is only this part.、Uh, the、uh, visual ethnography films are developed and uh, uh, multi voice reality is represented. So,、uh, for example, the same Rafael s a n、uh, watch. These different perspectives and my realities, and they, he or we can think a future、uh, plan of new action research, and we can continue to film、uh, that new action research and it becomes a new visual ethnography, and we can develop a new、uh, comment videos, then it becoming a chain of the practice. So after that, we can、uh, think how. Uh, action research is in the multi voice realities, bring the changes in Shuataneho municipality, for example,、uh, in the、uh, near future. s But actually, this type of、uh, change is、uh, little by little、uh, is happening because, the,、uh, for example,、uh, Mr. Thomas、uh, from the、uh, federal government and、uh, Mr. Rafael、uh, from the municipal government、uh, already watched. Uh, or involved in this visual ethnography activities. And now,、uh, already、uh, they, both of them, started the new type of action researches, for example, developing a new、uh, visual educational materials or new、uh, action researches in Shiwataneho, even during the COVID 19 situations, so that、uh, now the new action researches are ongoing in、uh, Mexico. Yeah, so that in the near future,、uh, we will be able to develop a new visual ethnography post. And it hopefully we will bring a new、uh, post of the comment videos. So it will be becoming a change of the practice in the near future. 
So, um, thank you very much for、uh, joining、uh, my presentations. And this is all. And actually, this website of the Action Visual Ethnography is、uh, open already. So, we can access to this uh, website uh, if you are interested. So, thank you very much.